New at 6, a frigid start to the new semester for thousands of kids across the state. And no one knows that better than students in Tahlequah. They're cold. It's hard to focus when you're cold. Sequoia High School parents and students tell us there was no heat in the classrooms, even claiming those rooms fell below freezing yesterday. Two Works View reporter Travis Guillory looks into the problem. Several parents reached out to Two Works For You with one major concern. Body aches and you're cold, so they're having a hard time. What they say are freezing temperatures in Sequoia High School in Tahlequah. They have to be at school because they have no choice. Um, but the problem started before Christmas break. They were already bringing blankets to school a week before. So there's been three weeks of not good heat in the school. So that's the problem. In a statement, school officials say on Monday they noticed heating systems to six out of their 40 classrooms were not fully functioning. The superintendent says portable heaters were delivered to warm up those classrooms the day before students returned. And although it may have felt unusually cold, school officials tell us maintenance went into every single room and they all measured above 65 degrees. They're cold. They're cold. You can't concentrate when you're cold and shaking in class. School officials say an announcement was made over the PA system Tuesday morning that if any classrooms were too cold, teachers should contact the office and an alternative arrangement would be made. They say no one requested a change. Some parents, though, say the school should have still taken precaution earlier than the day before students returned because all they ask for... A quality education, um, protection, whether it be from bullies, from the weather, but a safe environment. In Tahlequah, Travis Guillory, Two Works For You. We're told Sequoia High School's heating system has now been fixed. Meantime, the Tahlequah Public School District, which is a separate district, is canceling classes for the rest of the week. They say that a break in their sprinkler system caused flooding and they need time to repair the damage.